For the last few years, I've been planting winter rye in September and October, harvesting it in May, and planting my backyard garden in the spring without tilling the soil. If all farmers around the world did something like this, the additional carbon transferred from the atmosphere to the soil every year would be about one-tenth of our annual emissions from fossil fuels. That's probably one of the easiest fixes we have. An emergent phenomenon of all this fresh forage in my yard has been regular visits by the local deer herd. So last fall, I fenced off parts of the winter rye to protect it from deer grazing. The exclosures worked, and it seems to have made a big difference to the rye. I wanted to document the effect of deer, so I got at the Ron Thompson gangster carp pole that Ned Horning lent me. This carbon fiber pole, without its top two sections, is 8.1 meters tall, so I can get pretty good nadir coverage of the garden. I had just designed a camera bracket for a project Ned is doing in the Great Basin, documenting vegetation in sagebrush communities. A PowerShot A2200 is held at an angle, so when the pole is vertical, the field of view just includes the base of the pole. Photos are taken in the four cardinal directions to document the vegetation at each study point. I thought others might find this handy, so I designed a more adaptable bracket for other cameras, lenses, pole heights, and pole angles. The camera tray locks at any angle, so it accommodates different focal length lenses for vegetation sampling from a vertical pole. It can also be used for lots of other types of scene capture. Panoramas can be captured, or very high video footage can be taken from any angle. With the camera tray vertical, the camera can be held in portrait mode. Photos from this mode could be stitched into 360 degree panoramas with more vertical coverage. The bracket also works for nadir mapping photos with the pole held at any angle. The two sleeves for the pole are designed to fit on the end of the third smallest pole section for an 8.1 meter long pole. The sleeves grip only the end of the pole section where it is reinforced with the extra carbon material. You can also add the penultimate pole section for a total length of 9.4 meters. Little bushings adapt the sleeves for this narrower section. My first test of the bracket was with a full spectrum PowerShot S110 with a dichroic filter which passed only red and near infrared light. A custom white balance setting on the camera allowed the photos to be converted directly to a facsimile of NDVI. I used an 8.1 meter tall pole, held at an angle, and walked it all around the garden. I stitched together 25 photos in Photoshop and put the mosaic into Fiji to make NDVI with Ned's photo monitoring plug-in. The floating point image output by the plug-in has the actual NDVI values for each pixel, so I used tools in Fiji to sample 14 circular plots in each exclosure and in adjacent grazed areas of winter rye. Fiji even computes the mean and standard deviation for each treatment. The results are consistent with the apparent effects of deer grazing. Grazing substantially reduced some aspect of the vigor of the rye. So maybe the best solution for next fall will be to just eat a lot more venison.